So in this video, we've got a car and a truck uh, moving from rest along a straight road, okay? So the truck, for the first 40 seconds, is accelerating up to 15 meters per second and then continues at this steady speed, okay? Um, the car, on the other hand, also starting from rest, however, takes 80 seconds to reach 20 meters per second and then continues at 20 meters per second, okay? Find the time when the car overtakes the truck and how far down the road this happens. Okay, so really what we want to do is we want to figure out a time t, okay? So some capital T that I'm going to add to my diagram, where the area under the graph for the truck is the same as the area under the graph for the car, okay? Because remember, it's the area that represents the distance. So if I find the area for the truck, okay, which is the area of this triangle plus the area of the rectangle, so the area of the triangle is one half times the base 40 times the height 15 plus the area of this rectangle here. So I've got T take away 40 times by the height, so 15. So that is the area, the distance the truck travels, okay, after T seconds. And this is going to be equal to, because I want it to be the same distance for the car, so we've got the area of this big triangle, one half times the base, times by the height, plus the area of this rectangle, which is t take away 80, that's the base of the triangle, the base of the rectangle, times by its height, 20. So I need to solve this equation. So I've got 1 half times 40 times 15, so that's 300. I'm going to multiply that bracket, so 15t, and then we've got 40 times 15, so uh, take away 600, and then we've got 1 half times 80 times 20, so 800, plus, expanding that bracket, 20t, uh, take away 1600. So if I do 300, take away 600, and then take away 800, and then add the 1600, so that effectively moves everything onto the left-hand side. And then I add the fifth, uh, subtract 15t from both sides, leaving me with 5t. So that means that t must be 100. So that means that the, uh, at time 100 seconds, uh, the car overtakes the truck. OK? So um, how far along the road does this actually happen? So remember, one of these, that's the uh, distance the truck has travelled, that's the distance the car has travelled. I just need to substitute t as 100 into either of those. So the distance, substitute, I'm going to substitute it into that top one, okay, which we actually simplified, didn't we, to this. So we've got the 300 plus 15 lots of 100 take away 600. And that gets me 1,200 metres, 1,200 metres. OK, so the, um, it, the car overtakes the truck after 100 seconds, and that happens 1.2 kilometres down the road.